All right, what's going on, everybody? So I had another quick little video uh, today, just on a quick little fix of things I've ran into that I haven't really seen much information on, especially when it comes to these uh, first-gen legacies. Um, specifically, I'm talking about the ignition wiring. Um, because what you end up doing on these cars a lot of the time is you have to repin certain things in the ECU. If you can convert over to like a different ECU or like a Rob Tune or you're going to coilover plug like I am um, in this build. So one thing I wanted to show you is just how you're supposed to depin these connectors um, the right way so you don't ruin your connector like I did and had to replace the whole thing. So Okay, so this is my old connector. So you can see these four pins right here are pretty chewed up and I actually installed the wrong uh, pins because these are actually pins that I had from an, uh, like a newer um, like an 07 Impreza uh, harness. So those are actually different. So if you're going to be repinning stuff, you need to make sure you get the right type of pins for a first gen. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to just go and have spares of these connectors. Um, you know, from the junkyard, just pull them from a first gen. That's what I did, is I had an extra one of these. So, um, these four are the ignition wires. So normally on these cars, they only have two. Um, but I've switched, this, like, this would be one and two, that'd be three and four. And then the other two aren't really used. But, uh, actually, no, they're a purge canister and something else, which I don't actually use anymore because I converted over to a 20G ECU. So now these are one, two, three, and four cylinders, ignition coil, um, spark things. So what I did is I took this out. I um, de-pinned each wire one by one. So I have these four right here. I still have to connect to my four signal wires for each coil pack. But um, you really should buy the special tool to de-pin these things. I didn't have one, so I made one. So this is what you can do. I took a uh, hardened steel Allen key. I hammered it flat as hard as I could, and then I ground the tip down so it's nice and flat. So it's a really th thin, flat, like flathead style tool um, that's hardened steel, so it's not going to bend. And so I'm going to show you how you can depin these without making your connector look like that. Okay. So first step is you're going to want to pop the little locks off. So this is a, one of the other ECU connectors that I just had spare laying around. Um, so you want to pop the little locks off the back here. My camera not focusing. There we go. Pop this down. So you don't have to take both of them off, but uh, I'll show you here on this brown wire. So if you look inside here, you can see that little tab. You see that yellow tab on the inside? So you need to take your little tool. And it's gonna be this one. So you need to go in there like that. You get to focus like that, and then lift up, push down, on your on your tool and it slides right out and that's it so now you just have to do that to each one and then just slide them back in and you'll hear make sure you get them face up so usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll compare to one of the other pins to make sure the orientation's right because you put them in upside down they'll go in upside down but they won't be right and you can bend your pins on your ECU but you just slide them in you hear a little click Close your top, and your ECU connector is good. So that's what I did to fix my issue. So hopefully you guys don't run into that. Um, if you do, keep some spares of these laying around, especially if you have a first-gen legacy because these things are old, and this happens quite a bit. So, but yeah, keep an eye on the channel for more videos on this thing. Um, once I get my banjo bolt in, we should be getting this thing fired up on the coilover plug, and I have a whole video coming out on the coil over plug conversion so be sure to stay tuned for that thanks for watching